Okay, so this lesson is called You Are the Interface, um, meaning uh, in, let's see, in screen design, you know, you are you, and or like when you're playing a video game, um, you're watching something happen on the screen, and it doesn't feel like it's happening to you. Uh, but in XR, um, you are present with the objects and the environment around you. It feels in your body, in your brain, like I'm standing here right in front of you, right? Um, as I get closer to you, it might feel a little uncomfortable as if I get too close um, because your brain gets tricked in believing that we are actually in the same space. Uh, when you're interacting with the screen, your brain thinks the screen is the object in the space, not the other person. So there's lots of implications to this. So one implication is that memories in XR, uh, people say are more intense than memories playing video games or on a phone or those, because uh, you get a sense of spatial memory with these things. I remember uh, one time I was playing on the HoloLens, uh, this app called Figments. Uh, it's like a game where, you know, there somebody's killed and you have to go try to figure out the clues to solve the murder and do forensic analysis. And there was uh, a rat that in AR went across in my kitchen um, and I had this visceral response because there was a rat in my kitchen. Uh, I knew it wasn't really there, but in my brain I was like, there's a rat in the kitchen. And I really distinctly remember exactly where that was, uh, which doesn't happen on a video game. So the reason I bring this up is because you just have to be careful uh, and kind of use your power wisely. Um, so if you're giving someone an experience or a memory, uh, it can be a visceral negative reaction or a very positive reaction, um, or it can help increase the kind of stickiness of learning, which is why I'm actually teaching this class in VR here, uh, where you can experience these concepts firsthand.